Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Thank you for joining me today. Today's video, I figured I would give you all an update on my job. What have I been doing at work these past few months? It's been four months actually. I, I really intended to do this at a three month mark. Um, however, life. With that being said, um, so I went through my inbox at work and decided to, you know, kind of give y'all an update on, on what I have been doing the past few months at my job. So if you don't know, I work at a company where I mainly work on their corporate intranet. And, and so what that consumes of is when the employees log in and um, employees from the company log in, they are welcomed by the the corporate internet um, when they log in on the internet um, most companies have one uh, I haven't really came across any company that doesn't have one but um, unless it's maybe like a smaller one but either way that's what I work on and so with that there are applications within that internet that I also me and uh, another developer also work on so I hit the ground running when I first started and I was doing like small things like oh yeah tiffany these contacts need to be updated within the you know corporate intranet so a lot of times you know people come and go within the corporation i work for a company who has um different locations as well so dallas isn't their only location it's just their main location so um a lot of times people will send me things like hey we need this information updated or this person no longer works for the company and we need to update it on the corporate internet so um that's what i was mainly doing like the per first few days uh, or the first few weeks when i was um when i first started at my job i also was tasked with creating a new department page so of course there's different departments within our organization and so uh, what I had to do was communicate with marketing because each department has like a uh, icon or an icon, yeah, an icon that you click on and then you enter into their department page basically. And so to communicate with marketing, say, hey, um, you know, there are, there's a new um, department being added and it needs an icon so marketing handled that they created the icon i was just going through and adding the content within the pages and then also um you know coding anything that needed to be done for the page any functionality that needed to be done for the pages um being a web developer you not only have to code things right you also have to communicate with people and and so that's what i kind of was doing a little bit of I mean I wasn't doing mass amounts of communication but I was doing a little bit of communicating with marketing and the people that wanted the new department page on the internet so that was my my part and then also um, after you code it then you get feedback from the people that are going to be using it and then after you get that feedback they're more often times than not in my case there wasn't any feedback it was just like oh it looks good and it's like okay great so we can make this live so i was eventually able to venture into different parts of the the corporate internet and um the focus on adding and updating forms and pages for our support page so our corporate intranet site is very large and there's like a lot of different pages and, and things like that. So I not only was doing contact stuff when I received it, but I was also doing things like updating forms and updating the support page. So we have uh, a support page which they take support requests. Now that is something that we do not handle. That is something another department within our organization handles. Um, but we are in charge of actually creating the forms that users fill out in order to get their requests sent to the correct person. So I did some of that stuff. I was updating forms, adding forms, different different things that need to be needed or needed to be added. So I was able to do a little bit of uh, like little small things like, you know, we we are in property management. So within our corporate intranet, there is a, a, a section where people can, you know, click 
the property or search for the property click on it and then out comes all of this information about this property well some things weren't listed under there like website links and um kind of like an edit button so things like that i was uh, able to go ahead and start doing so um it kind of gives you an idea of like even if you have like a small knowledge of something you could still kind of go in and, and do it and even though i wasn't um big on the language that we were using i was still able to go through and maneuver and figure out how to add things and then ask questions where i had gaps at so that was a really cool thing to do and then i worked on another full page of a department web page it was one that i um again had to create from scratch and i worked alongside with another person uh who who requested it um and it wasn't like we were working side by side the entire time no <laughs> it's just like she requested it this is what she wanted she was very detailed about what she wanted which is it helps like if you are on the other end of things and you are the one asking for something and you give as much detail as possible thank you it's people that give very vague facts that we have to basically dig deeper and deeper and figure out what exactly you want so thank you for that if you do that um and then if you are a developer and you're working on the other side make sure to ask the you know questions about what you need to do but anyways i worked on that it consisted of like adding a slider which would um if you're not familiar with a slider it's basically just um a section that kind of just goes through a certain amount of um pictures or video or whatever else it may be so um there was a series of photos and then one video that the slider wanted to go that was featured on that slider and so that's what i coded i was able to do that and then as far as like um and then linking to other sections within the internet or within that page and it may not seem like it's such a big deal but when you are working with a massive amount of code like it was tough for me to figure that out because i'm like how does this page link to this page and especially since it wasn't something i coded so that's another thing as a developer you're gonna have to read other people's code and so luckily the person who wrote it was you know the senior developer so i can kind of go back and say hey man what, what's this about so that's also helpful another thing that um one of the other things i did was um there's a conference that my company has it's not something that i go to but it's focused on our industry um but they had videos that they wanted to be displayed and so i was tasked to go onto our youtube page and not edit the video the video was already edited i didn't have to do that but i was uh tasked with just uploading it and then creating like the new section in our internet where this conference stuff would go because there's a new conference every year so this one would go under 2017 stuff so you create a new page and then you add the um the video and whatever supporting documents that they wanted uploaded to that page as well and one of the other recent like one of the most recent things i was doing this was august that i was i think i started this in august it took me like a month to do this but it was a very very intricate organizational tool that I needed to create and like the page that it was originally on you know we could use that page but it needed to be updated so the idea is that you had to deal with associations with properties you had to deal with um you know searching for something getting that information displaying that information you also had to do with deal with um our you <laughs> me i also had to deal with um removing adding updating those sorts of things so i i it was basically an organizational tool and it had three different tabs and within each tab each tab did something different and the the third tab was the one that was the most complicated and it included um you know it, it was a lot of jquery involved where you had a list of nav items and it was add update remove but it was also um like one for one set of things and another one for another set of things and i know i'm being quite vague it's because i don't want to talk too much about 
all of the things i just want to give you an idea and hopefully this is a good idea or it's giving you a good idea rather um but yeah i was it had basically a navigation and then on one side it was one section of items that you could add update or delete and then another section of items that you could up, add update or delete but they basically use the same forms they use the same form for add they use the same form for update they use the same form for removing so i didn't want to have to cre recreate the form so it was suggested to just use jquery to just you know click on something dynamically change the name of whatever it was and then have the form and then go to the database and update the information well i wrote the queries for that as well and like i said there were some that had associations linked to it so not only was this not only did i have to update this specific thing i had to go and get a different table to update that table with some information as well so it was more intricate and it took me forever like i said but um and it's something that i i recently you know recently it was done like it took me forever i'm not kidding like <laughs> it was a thing but between that and the little things that i was doing like the content update the contact updates and things like that um that came through the pipeline um yeah I, this project was the big one but you do other things while you're working on this project it was that kind of project um the other biggest part of this which i finally nailed down um like uh when was that like september i think it was september yeah september when i finally nailed this part down i also needed to create a a section where someone could manual or yeah manually pick one thing out of one category and drag it to another category and so um it was suggested when we were going through the user interface part of this like to, to have like a dragging and dropping thing that would be kind of cool so i was like I've never done that before so this is new <laughs> but it, it was okay it was okay it was totally cool and I was able to get through it so I used JavaScript for that to drag and drop things I couldn't get the the data to populate on the page each time sometimes it would populate sometimes it wouldn't I thought maybe it was just an issue because we were in development and I was working with this thing non-stop and maybe it was just like not registering sometimes but um it turns out the senior developer was like no i think we need to use promises for this and i was like okay and he was like well i hadn't really worked with promises before and i was like me neither so i just i went and did a ton of research and uh, i spent like a day like kind of looking up things and having like a practice um example that i uh, had and I went and was trying to figure it out and trying to incorporate it into what we had and I finally got it working like it took me a couple of days but I finally got it working and I was super excited because it worked um and then I was told that promises did not work in IE 11 or IE at all and I'm like stupid internet explorer who's using internet explorer like if you're really using internet explorer I want to meet you like comment down below um i need to talk to you like <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> let's have a serious conversation but anyways so that's kind of what i've been doing my past four months i've been at my job it started out doing really basic things and then i got into an intricate tool that i'm building um and then we have an end of the year goal that we want to do and make a new form and things like that and stuff when i talk about these things it seems like super simple you're like tiffany this is dumb easy things that you're doing and they are right they could be however when you're working you have to remember when you're working with the large scale application um this can get really intricate i actually made a change the other day or the other week and i made that change so it wouldn't do this specific behavior well the following week it was like error upon error upon error because of that change that i had made so it affected another part of the internet so things like that happen and when you have a bigger scale application and especially me i don't know the ins and outs of all the application as it is and it's 
I'm not gonna know it right now at this stage. There's way too many things. So, but the point is that it seems like it's an easy thing to just go in and change one thing and you're done, da da da. And sometimes it is, right? But then there's other things that affect other things um, within the website. So that's just a little FYI. So yeah, I wanted to give y'all an update. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Like this video if you liked it. Send me a comment down below if you got one. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I know I don't advertise a lot, but I do love to hear from you guys. So if you have any comments or um, things like that, shoot them to me. Let me know about it. I'd love to hear from you. So I'll see you guys next time in another video. Bye. You know, I, I do a lot of hand talking because, I don't know, I've, I, I just, I just, uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking at this point. Anyways, I do that. Sorry. Uh, but yeah.